this is interesting. This is actually interesting. She's like, I this, forgot that. like I just met a hairdresser and they're going to cut my hair. It's like, Sarah, now I'm sure this woman is lovely, but there's wait a minute, 900,000. I met her because you thought it was Mauricio's daughter <laughs> from selling Beverly Hills. And you go, oh, that's Mauricio's mom and Mauricio's daughter. I've got to take a photo. Well, the minute you guys, you guys, the minute he gets in there next to this woman, he instantly realizes <laughs> it's not Mauricio's daughter. So he takes a quick picture, then he runs right off. So I'm stuck talking to her. So I go, oh, what do you do? She goes, oh, I'm a hairdresser. I'm here. I did someone's hair for people.com. I go, oh, I live in LA. You got to do my hair. She was like, yeah, absolutely. Anyway, and then I don't think Mauricio's mother wanted to take a photo, but obliged. And David was long gone the minute he realized not reality people i am sorry i am dresser we exchange phone numbers that is exactly what happens um i was staring and i i i will show you a picture of that woman and and that other woman you are gonna you're gonna tell me that doesn't look like farah and estella it looked like mauricio's mother and farah i swear to you um oh my god yeah, yes. Wait, that, I, the, I, that I, when I, I realized question. it wasn't, I ran away. Um, I'm a horrible person. Everyone says you're so nice. You're so nice. People, these listeners tell me how nice I am. I'm like, am I? So, so tell me, what do you got? And then I want to talk about well, the auction. The auction was very interesting too. A little bit. Too. Oh, the auction was very interesting. Um, well, I wanted to ask you because you know, homeless, not toothless, is the name, and then sometimes throughout the night they would refer to, refer to it as H N. T. Yes. Then Dr. Jay Grossman, who founded it, got up there and he said, well, I want to address the name because it's been on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which I'm so grateful for the women, but it, it's brought a lot of attention. And he says, we want you to know the board is reviewing the name. And he said, I want to take this time to explain to you why I did it. I started this organization over a decade ago and I really wanted it. it I wanted to say to people, look, <clears throat> you might be homeless. You might be down on your luck, but you are not without teeth because, uh, you know, my wife and I have dedicated money and time and resources and we've gra gathered our friends to give money and we are going to make sure that you have teeth health because, you know, your teeth are the gateway to your health, right? If you have gum disease, you have all leads to all kinds of other problems. And really what you find out with homeless, not toothless, which I think they're going to change that my own personal opinion is I think they're going to change the I name, but they, they had such Really? Well, oh, I think they're. I think they had such huge name recognition from last season, and then they had this event. I think they're going to ride out. You know what? Like they had this huge moment. I mean, the cameras were up for hours on Saturday night. But I think they're going I to change it. I wonder because... how much of this will even be on the fucking show. I mean, I think really? it will. Well, right. I think it will be just because now it's become a kind of a joke amongst the viewers. Dr. Jay Grossman did say, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I didn't realize, you know, this name thing last season. And when he said that, you know, he's like, some of you got it a little bit confused when he said that. Kyle, because we were at the table that Kyle put did like, you see Kyle's face? yeah, she's like, yeah. oh, she like buried her face. Like she was because I mean, you know, I don't know. I think I think at this point, just write it out and stay with the name. That's what I think. But by the way, when they did, so then they had, so, so I told Sarah again, cause I was there to work. I'm like, let's just see what the auction is, Sarah. Let's just see. Now I really, in my mind had like, I would spend up to, I was going to spend like maybe up to 1500. Like if it was like a lunch with Kyle and Mauricio, I, I yeah, I would do 1500 for that. Sure. Um, I would have done dependent. So then, so then they start, then they start the auction and they're like, we are going to start with jerseys. Here is Pele's, you know, all those famous soccer players, Christ Christian, Aldo, Christian Ronaldo and all this other stuff. They're like, we're going to start the bidding at 40,000, 40,000, 40. 000, 40 000. So we have and I'm like, oh, yeah, David, you're not bidding on anything here today. So sit back down, girl. Um, but I didn't even next... look for my paddle. I knew it. the minute they said live auction, I thought I ain't buying shit. I didn't even look for my paddle. They go get your paddles out. I thought mine could stay in my purse. I can well, tell anytime. you right now. Let me tell you something. That that Sutton Strack, that Sutton Strack, and that Mauricio. Oh, Garcelle. Garcelle is like another drink. Erica Jane. Every time Sutton bid, Erica was like, "Oh." <laughs> Erica was like, "I remember those days." But that <laughs> that 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 Sutton Strack man, that her paddle. She 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 won. I think she won the trip to Greece or something. More she for like thirty seven thousand. That Sutton Strack bid. 
on like so many things, as did Mo and Mauricio won something too. You know what I also really observed, which I liked? Because again, I'm like, we're, we we need to sit right next to these people so I can observe. And we did. We did. I, I got you a good table, girl. Um, I did. Kyle, <laughs> I love that Kyle and Mauricio sitting next to each other with their own paddles were raising it for different things at different times. And there was never a discussion. And I like that. It was never like, Mauricio was never like, dear, why are you bidding on this $72,000 thing? She never said, honey, stop. Like, it was like, you know, probably joint resources. I think Kyle makes, I mean, I think Mauricio makes more than Kyle. The agency is a real fucking thing, guys. Um, But she makes probably a million dollars. So it's like between the two of them, I love that like when she wanted a bid, she bid. When he wanted a bid, it was never like, I can't believe you just spent 40,000 or this or Kyle, why do you keep raising your pat? Like, I, I don't know. These little things that I observed at this there- next table. <laughs> Me too. I mean, look, the, I thought the other thing that was interesting, they're very affectionate to one another, Mauricio and Kyle. Um, and, and, you know, he's like always kind of playing with her hair or, you know, I mean, it, cameras are on. So, you know, I don't know if that's th- their all the time relationship, but they're very connected. So were Dorit and PK. I mean, PK is just an ultimate, you know, music showman. And of course, um, he got boy, boy George, George and Culture Club to donate um, a meet and greet. Yeah. <laughs> A Vegas, you know, meet and greet and, uh, you know, limousine pickup and dinner and all, you know, again, that I would have done that one, but that one even went for, I, I don't know, 16,000. I, mean, I, I texted yeah, my friend to say I would bid on this, but I mean, I've done the boy George. I, I'm a huge boy George fan. I'm, I'm going to go to see yeah, Culture Club. Amazing. Um, so anyway, I, that was a really great, that was a great moment. Was there something else? No, no, no. I mean, it, it was, the whole thing was just so much fun. I mean, I know you're mad at me because I. I'm not mad. mad. I don't get mad. These people think I'm so mean to you. I don't get mad. I just thought it was funny of like, girl, I'm not here for a night out. Oh, so funny. I was here for a night out. And I, and also I left right after the live auction. I thought, I don't want to stay. I mean, you know, I, I love all these people in short doses and I love, you know, meeting them and talk, chit chatting with them. And then I don't know. I want to get home to my son and husband. So I, poor David, I said to him, like the minute, like, I don't know, the fourth live auction item was Sutton had won something. I was like, okay, bye. And he's like, oh, I'll walk out with you. I feel so bad. You should have stayed no. because you did want to see, you know, you Taylor wanted to Dave. see who was, yeah. Taylor Dave. And yeah. Her. Paula, a, a, you a legend. Paula. Listen, let me, first of all, I have 800 pictures of Paula. Um, No, it, listen, here's, it's like I had Liliana Vasquez on, recently entertainment journalists. And one of our conversations was about like, you know, she's like my big pet peeve with like people that do what we do. Entertainment journalists um, are that, you know, when they're on the carpet or doing their job, they think they're going to become friends with these people. And I said, it's such my pet peeve too. It's like, you know, look, Dorit is like, oh my God, my high school buddy. 